Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I am inside the new Jaguar F-Piece 2021 model and I will review the infotainment system, multimedia system, digital cockpit. I will show you the steering wheel and all the function uh, right here on the dashboard. It's really impressive. I have to say I come inside this new F-Piece and it's other life i mean they make such a good quality um, incredible quality i mean i'm i'm super impressed so guys let's start it as always first of all um let me close the lights actually and then let's go forward look first time at the dashboard look a little bit here at the center console as everything it's array splendid i mean it's it's high class everything feel uh, premium and everything look premium even here the center console even those buttons right here i will make a full review about this fps soon when i will get the time and then wow it's it's incredible so stay tuned guys click the subscribe button if you want to see it look at the start engine button look how it's pulping red it take I think they take this idea from Seat was the first time and then I see also right now Volkswagen on the Golf it's incredible it looks so nice um, the way it do it's, it's super nice also this chrome design here even this uh, gear shifter level it's soft material very good high class quality even those glossy button integrated right here look at the ambient light behind the buttons it's it's crazy also down assist this is the, the traction control, this is the driving mode from here, you can change different driving modes, you can see it on the screen, uh, you have dynamic, comfort, eco mode and rain, ice, snow, it's, it's crazy. And then if you don't want to have it here, you can hide it in just like that, splendid, <laughs> I love it. Also here you have a wireless charging with an ambient light. You can see the red ambient light right there with a the big space so no matter how big the phone it is you can fit it in there also the, the dashboard amazing quality soft leather wood design even those strip this is the new trend so the the vents will come all over the dash like a line it's so modern so nice look at the lines look at the finishing impressive impressive and also the quality is there gorgeous love it and also the ambient light you can see the ambient light inserted right there uh, in the dash also under the van there you can see the red ambient light it's beautiful in terms of quality wow jaguar make amazing impressive cars now uh, let me go to to the climatic system here on the climatic system even those wheels they feel incredible quality let me zoom in a little bit maybe you can see it it's it's so fancy so good quality when you touch them even this glass it looks so nice incredible beautiful also from here you can control different function you can see even the inserted there like a jaguar 1935 coventry beautiful this glass glossy glass it looks so nice and from here you can change different function uh, on the climatic system the car come also with defrosted windscreen so you can see inside the windscreen i don't know if you can see it so well but it has little 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 lines um on the camera it's really complicated to catch that but yeah and from here you can change different function from the climatic system really nice and really well really fancy integrated there and something that i like very much and i think it brings a lot of style the designer of this interior was a smart uh really smart person because we see these days a lot of screens a lot of multimedia screens and they are all integrated in the dash or they are all outside the dash or different ways but this time if you look closely at this tablet it's like a tablet actually and you can see how they integrate it here uh, it's it's quite smart intelligent it's like one centimeter outside and you can see it perfectly the size is perfectly i mean it's just the perfect size look at it not big not small you have perfect size and the visibility from all angles of the car it's it's incredible good it's not tilted to the driver as i like it it's in the middle but the visibility from this angle of the driver it's quite quite good and also you can you can touch and and uh, reach out to the screen pretty simple 
Now, let me go in different function. First of all, what I notice, it's a glossy screen, beautiful uh, resolution. This is kind of the home screen. Uh, actually, in this moment, we have the home screen where you have the navigation here, you have the telephone right here, and then you have the media. But also, you can customize what you would like to see here on the first screen, on the home screen. You press there, and then you can see you have uh, navigation, telephone, and media. And also, uh, here is the driving style, energy impact, and all that stuff. You can also add it here. Look at this. You can add it up to, I think nine or ten widgets you can add it up there and then you can see it if you close here if you close this if you go to the main screen you can see that they were added right here on the main screen so you can see also the, the driving style the energy impact and if you go right here you can get more information about these things and you can see the ac it's running right now and how much energy all those function consume driving style here you can see how much you consume and you can see the graphics it's incredible it's like a very intelligent person create this uh, software because it looks like a computer game you know it looks the graphics look really impressive it's one of the most impressive graphics inside a multimedia system inside in a car uh, improve efficiency here they will give you some tips so it will teach you actually how to drive uh, economical or yeah whatever practical <laughs> cool and then the history here you can see the history how you drive before it's incredible graphic it's like a computer game and i like it very much i like the colors i like uh, the way it looks also you can change this from here from the settings you can choose the dark mode auto theme or you can choose the bright and on the bright side you can see everything is bright right now wherever you go in the menu you will see it bright but actually I like very much the dark mode really beautiful really fancy and, and styly now let me go back to home here is the home everything is touch here you don't have any physical button so that's something to keep in mind uh, it's quite modern so this is the home home screen and you can customize and choose the different function how you want also on the screen you have this button these cameras here so you can see right here you have all the 360 degrees cameras this car come with 360 degrees camera and you can also see what it is around the car and it's quite quite good resolution and nice nice uh, software we see that in other cars as well so it's not something new but it's still great to have it here also for towing uh, trailers it's great let me go back to home from the home here uh, you can choose and I can go directly in the which uh, setting you want or you can go here you have also free shortcuts you have navigation that it looks super nice and also um, the screen it's so smooth it's like an iPhone it has almost no lag almost no lag and it's, it's so smooth I like how smooth it is even in my Tesla I don't have such a smooth I mean it feels super smooth and when you choose a destination for example let me go here let me end this route and let me choose another one you can see it's loading really fast so let me choose here a destination start and then look at this After one, 100 meters, I think it's three seconds right. just three seconds and then it's boom uh, it's calculated already so that's incredible I mean the processing power of this multimedia of this tablet or screen it's incredible fast then you have the phone here you can connect your phone Bluetooth and stuff like that and then you have the, the music here where you can uh, change the different station the favorite the player and then you have also these settings here in the corner the settings is the bright of the screen you want automatic dark or light them and then you have the home layout then um, the auto hold function it's right here you don't have a physical button on the center console right here like usually most of the car have the auto hold function is here and also uh, start stop system button it's right here on the screen so you can adjust it from here then you have the home screen where you can change the icons and layout depend how you want to have it and then you have the audio where you can change the different function and information about the audio. Um, for example, let me go back. The bass, treble, 
and the buffer and then you have to all on the all here you have all the settings of the car you can see the software update the notification the application here you have all the apps on the car the language and keyboard you can change it from here general uh, voice settings and stuff like that here is the vehicle and here you have the driver assistance and you can see collision assistance cruise control and speed assistance driver and condition uh, low speed collision avoidance here you can activate and deactivate different safety features and you can choose also medium emergency brake rear traffic alert and stuff like that cruise control and assistance the same story you can change the different function of course here as well um, you can go in different distance for example close normal or far when you want the cruise control to to stop the gap between you and the car in front driver condition monitoring and then low speed maneuverability and then going forward safety and security here you have another safety feature the lights from outside convenience mirrors windows wipers all those functions you can activate deactivate from here so here is like a main main screen with all those functions tilted dim when you go in reverse then you have the cabin light on and off units you can choose um, kilometer miles psi or bar fahrenheit or celsius and then my vehicle you have also the information about the car general you already see it connectivity you can connect to the bluetooth mobile data because the car can connect to the to the internet through a sim card then you have the wi-fi possibility the android auto and apple carplay uh, settings here uh, you can also connect your device through an usb so keep in mind that you can connect your android auto i will make a full review about that i will make a video so stay close to the channel if you want to see how is to to connect your android phone to the uh, new multimedia system from jaguar so yeah those are the settings here in the settings the most important settings are here in the corner so it's easy to access um, that's why I tell you I like the software and how easy it is to access different functions. It's pretty smart and you go easy in these functions. Then you see already here the telephone and the media. And then another thing uh, where you find all the settings is this. You press this button here, the same as on the tablet. And you have the account, the seats, for example, the seats, uh, different information, hitting seats. For example, here you can also... Um, change and see going back to the climatic system also you can have it on your screen right now if you press it here it will show you all the information about the climatic system you can turn it on or off from here pretty simple and you can choose where the air to go down left right wherever it's it's really interesting then uh, if you go back you will have towing and trailer right here information and then you have the cameras that you already see it you have also valid mode if you give the car uh, to a hotel or something like that the driving information you already see it before and then you have the echo data that you see it let me go back dynamic eye this is also all the information about the driving style and you can choose how you like to have it if you want to have the engine in dynamic mode you choose that in sport mode the steering sport dynamic or comfort dynamic of comfort also suspension and gear shifter so from here you can kind of choose how you like to respond to your driving style and it's quite nice really nice graphics stopwatch if you want to do 0 to 100 have some fun you still have this option lap time and then you have the g-meter of course in a sporty car it, these days have to have all those things so dynamic eye it's really interesting all surface information from from here you can change different driving modes and also you have um, this drive info for example the all-wheel drive and stuff like that it's quite interesting and also different driving modes right here uh, that you can simply change it from the wheel here as i showed you before uh, echo mode and yeah dynamic normal then you have the low traction launch also here to activate ensure the following vehicle stationary foot of acceleration activated start low traction launch then you have the tow bar again so they they really 
deploy here you can take out the, the toolbar I'm not going to do that but keep in mind that you can take it out actually from inside the car you don't have to touch it to say like that um, and then you have the voice command I'm not a big fan of it navigation right here that get you directed to the navigation and on the navigation as you see before it's pretty responsive uh, it's like I think they use Google map because it looks very similar with Google map it's incredible accurate and also they make update over the air give you the, all the information right here and then if I go back you will see the phone and media that you already see it so that's the screen that's the multimedia system nice nice colors and great software in my opinion also very well integrated there now going forward to the steering wheel incredible high quality steering wheel it looks super fancy also with little holes and also R here dynamics and then you have this chrome design insertion uh, the Jaguar logo in the middle the colors behind the, the buttons the glossy buttons here they are kind of a touch button here the same as also Volkswagen use it and also I like very much the quality of those um, touch here impressive even the pedals you can hear it it's metal no plastic great great visibility from here and also look at the screen guys right there you have kind of almost the same screen as you find it on the other a version from Jaguar great resolution great colors so here you can see head-up display on the head-up display you can also customize and change different function you can see the head-up display is directly on the windshield I like it very much great resolution there on the head-up display you have navigation and all that information position and bright and stuff like that then if you go up here again you have the display information you have the trip information, you have the media information, also vehicle from here you can change different stuff. And then again, um, it gets again to the, to the other function. So you can change a few functions here, very simple from the cockpit. Um, and in my opinion, it's, it's a pretty nice system. I like it. I like the way it looks. I like the information that you can get there. Of course, it's not like a Mercedes but still uh, it looks great and it's it's one of the best the only downside that i find it with this uh, cockpit digital cockpit from jaguar and range rover for example is that you cannot customize it in many ways but other than that colors resolution it's it's really really beautiful anyway that was the video i hope you enjoy it uh, i hope you get some useful information if you want to see the full review with this new jaguar f piece Stay close to the channel, just subscribe to the channel to see the notification when the video will come out. Also, uh, if you like it, give me a like, share, I would really appreciate. Thank you very much for watching my videos and stay close because it will be a really interesting video with this FPS test drive, review interior, exterior. All the information about this car will be soon on the channel and it's an incredible car, incredible. See you later guys, bye.